Hello and welcome to Saber's Studio. In this tutorial you will learn how to render videos in Vegas Pro in 60fps without losing any video quality. You will also learn how to save this configuration as a template so that you will only need to follow these steps once. I am using Vegas Pro 18, but this method is useful for older versions as well. If you are on Vegas version 14 or older, there is a different guy on my channel that will help you out. Ok, so here we are, looking at Vegas, with a video already dragged on our timeline. The first thing we are going to do is go to Project Properties, which is the cogwheel icon above our video preview. You could choose a 1080p template from the ones provided and work on top of that, but don't worry if you don't understand any of this, as we will create our own template step by step. First of all, check that the resolution is 1920 by 1080 which is what we call 1080p. If you recorded your video at any other resolution, that would be the one you see here. Then the frame rate or frames per second has to be on double NTSC, which you will see is 59.940 frames. This is what we normally call 60fps. The pixel format is ok in 8-bit, and it's important that the rendering resolution setting you choose best instead of good, which is the one that comes by default. It is also important to disable both deinterlacing and resampling. These are settings that do not help you when it comes to screen recordings, and they may add weird artifacts on your video. Finally, what's left is to give our template a name, and save it using the save icon next to where we wrote the name. At the bottom, there's also a box that allows you to start all future projects with this configuration, if that's something you'd like. Now would come the video editing part, which I am going to skip in this guide. Later I will make a guide to editing on Vegas, so if you are interested in that, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Now it's time to render our video. To do that, click on File, then Render As. On these newer versions of Vegas, there is a new MP4 format, which is the best and most compatible with YouTube that I have seen so far. Click on Magix ABC AAC. And in the options on the right, look for the one that suits your resolution, and that says 59.94 FPS. In my case, it's 1080p 59.94 FPS. You will notice that there are two versions of each template, the common one and one that says NVIDIA NBENC. These templates are identical in terms of video quality. The difference is that those that say NVIDIA are optimized for rendering with graphic cards of this brand, and they will render faster. In my case, I will choose the NVIDIA option since I have an NVIDIA GPU. If you have an AMD GPU, do not have a dedicated video graphics card, or do not know which card you have, choose the common option. Once the template is selected, we will click on Customize Template. In the window that appears, the first thing we have to do is change the RC mode, it's an option that is almost at the bottom. The default will probably be BBR, which stands for Variable Bitrate. Let's put it on CBR, or constant bitrate. The bitrate is the characteristic of how many bits per second your video has, and YouTube has a table that I'm showing on the screen, which explains that for 1080p videos at 60 frames per second, it's recommended to have a minimum bitrate of 15 megabits per second, or 15 million bits per second. For videos in another resolution such as 4K, higher bitrates are required. I will leave the link of the YouTube article in the description so you can see the table for yourself. You may have noticed that by selecting the CBR mode, a setting called constant bitrate was unlocked further up. We will choose 20 million bits per second, which is the closest option to what YouTube recommends. All that remains is to give this template a name, save it, and add it to favorites so that you may easily find it later. Now you can finally render your video. That has been all for today, I hope I helped you, and see you the next time on Saber Studio.